Mara Smith. I'm a creative portrait photographer. I was born and raised in Venezuela, and I never ever thought that I will end up being a photographer. I think that sometimes growing up, I got the idea of like, oh, I want to be a photographer. And I think I told my dad once, and he told me that I was going to starve to death <laughs> if I decided to, to do so. My ex-husband bought this camera. He never used it. I pick it up, and I pick it up in such a difficult time in my life. We were almost getting divorced. My son was recently diagnosed with autism. And somehow my camera became my happy place. And I used to go to my garage and just spend hours and hours and hours like photographing my kids, my dog, or everybody, my neighbors, my friends, until they got tired of it. And then I discovered self-portraiture and it was like, I can do everything I want and I have all the time to do whatever I want with myself and practice and all of that. Through my life, photography was my emotional outlet. And that was just the starting part of it because then I fell in love again and I moved in with my Prince Charming and I had a baby and I had this horrible postpartum depression and it was like such a disconnection with myself and my camera came out to save me once again and, and what I was having, like my baby was like a couple of months old. I decided that I was going to do this self portraiture 365 project which helped me not only to get out of my depression but to find time for myself and to grow so much creatively now the funny part about this is that i was such in a dark place but every single image that i was creating was funny and people will write me like, oh, I always wait every day for you to post your picture because they always make me laugh, they always make me smile. And I was like, oh, if they only knew, you know? And then I started thinking like, oh, I'm not depressed anymore. I'm just having the time of my life doing this little project. And I didn't know that a few months after my Prince Charming was gonna pass away. So um, there I was with my two kids alone by myself, all the grief and all of that. And it was once again my camera that helped me just getting out of all that craziness. And that was the moment that I decided that I wanted to do photography professionally. And, and I think that it saved me because I couldn't envision myself doing anything that I didn't enjoy. And um, I gave myself a year and I didn't become a millionaire. <laughs> or I didn't become super famous, but I found so much joy um, in the whole photography experience and, and going to conferences and meeting people and then I started writing for magazines and I, I got um, deals with brands and, and it was magical. It's not easy to do it as one person but I don't see myself doing anything else. We are in my garage. I have this um, partnership with this company that is called Spectacular Themes here in Orlando. And they allow me just to go there and to play with the props and everything. So to me, um, just building and putting things together is fantastical. It's just part of what I do. I think that I cannot do boring, boring things and just playing things is just out of myself. And, and how I can create to me is the magic of not just taking the picture, it's just building a concept and and making things fun. I'm a Nikon girl. I shoot with my Nikon C7. I have like three or four lenses. I have a wide angle lens that I like to use for weird angles and making the photography trolls pissed off because they say that I'm not supposed to take portraits of people with a wide angle lens. I have my 85 that I absolutely love, but believe it or not, my lens that I almost never, never, never leave my camera is my 24-70. As for lighting, since I started photography, I work with Elinchrom, and it was the first kit that I got, and I still work with Elinchrom, but lately I have been into creating with constant light. I use Aperture and Amaran, which is the little sister, and I absolutely love them. This is a 600 that is here 
lighting me from here. And then behind me, I have a, a 300C and, and I have a couple of tubes and I love to experiment and what I like about Constant Light right now is that allows me to have video content. That's pretty much, and you know, when it comes to, to retouching, I always have my Wacom tablet with me and, and it's just like something that I cannot live without. I know that a lot of us are scared because of AI. Um, I think that we all have to experiment and we have to dig in into it. So I do play with Firefly, I do play with Mid Journey, I try to learn as much as I can because I cannot sit here with you and tell you I hate it, it's gonna take over my work if I don't find the possibilities, you know, and I don't want to become a dinosaur, so I have to adapt somehow. But to me, I think that photography will never die and it will never affect some part of the business. I think that it will take over a lot of the commercial side of it, but in the part when it comes to connection, when it really comes to be to be human and, and you know, leave your legacy, your image, I think that a picture will do it and, and an avatar, a fake thing won't do it, or at least not yet. <laughs> this business is a roller coaster. And I think that every single creative can say that we can have amazing months and that we can have dead months. And you will be like, why am I doing this? You know? To me, it's just the sake of, of creating. And even when I'm in my lowest, when I'm like, like I don't feel like I wanna do this, I find myself here in my garage or I find myself writing about photography and writing and getting that connection, finding the why am I doing it? Why did I start doing it? What it does to me? You've seen um, some of my pictures that I have created, especially with my son. Because when I started doing photography and when I cre started creating those composites were so special for me because it was like this door that was open to my son's imagination and his life that it was so hard for me to trigger back then. So what I did is I used to sit with him and start coming up with stories. And while we were coming up with the stories, I was sketching with him and making characters and what this character would do, what would be his name, where will he be? And then I would be, let me take a picture of you and you are this and this and that. And he was so involved in the story that he would just come and let me take his picture and he would just act and do all of this stuff. So the work that I have created with my kids based on their imagination and the stories that we have created together, to me, is the more magical. And it is magical not only because it's my kids, it's, it's just like when I look at them in my walls, I can remember every single step of the story and it's like a portal to their imagination. And I think that is somehow when they grow up, it's gonna be that connection to their inner child because it's something that came out of their imagination. I mean, I think that, that ultimately whatever I do, those um, images will be my legacy because it's just something that I created for them by them somehow. <laughs>